To create a Bezier path, click on the pen tool at the top of the library of available objects on the left. You'll notice a change in the mouse pointer. The mouse pointer changes from the default arrow to a pen. The current mouse pointer indicates which mode you're in, either the default vector mode for moving and resizing objects on the canvas, or pen mode for creating new Bezier paths. You can also switch between the two modes using keyboard shortcuts. Press the V key to switch to the default vector mode for moving and resizing objects. Press the P key to switch to pen mode for creating new Bezier paths. Now that we're in pen mode, which again we can tell by the pen-shaped mouse pointer, we can create a new Bezier path. To begin, single click anywhere on the canvas. This inserts the initial point in our Bezier path. Now move your mouse pointer to another location on the canvas and single click again to insert another point in the Bezier path. Note that I'm not dragging here. I'm single clicking, releasing the mouse button, and moving the cursor to a new position without dragging. Now that we have a Bezier path containing a few points, we might like to complete our Bezier path and stop adding new points. Double click anywhere on the canvas to insert a final point and commit our provisional Bezier shape. Again, that's double click. The new Bezier shape now exists on the canvas, and you'll notice that we've returned to the default vector mode by the fact that the mouse pointer has reverted to the default arrow. Now that we're in the default vector mode again, we can work with our Bezier shape further by moving it around the canvas, or we can resize it by dragging on the rectangular corner handles, or edit individual points in the path by dragging on the round point handles. Notice that our Bezier path has properties like fill color, stroke color, and stroke line width just like any other shape on the canvas. Those properties can be edited in the inspector palettes on the right, just like any other shape. Also notice that the Bezier path we created is an open rather than a closed path. We didn't close our path, and we can tell because the stroke is not drawn on one side. We can close an existing open path by right-clicking and selecting Close Path from the context menu that appears. Now you can see that our path is properly closed. You can also close a Bezier path while you are still creating it. Let's try that. Click the pen tool to switch back to pen mode. Begin single clicking anywhere on the canvas to create a new Bezier path. To close the path, you have to single click again on the very first point in the provisional path. Notice too that when your mouse is in close proximity to the original point, the cursor changes slightly to include a small black square to indicate that a click in this location will close the provisional path. So single click on the original point to close the path and commit it to the canvas. Okay, now I'm going to delete these two paths by selecting them with a lasso drag and pressing the delete key. Now I'll show you how to create a Bezier path with right angles and straight lines. This time, I'll re-enter pen tool mode by clicking the P key on the keyboard. Note that the mouse cursor has changed to a pen to indicate we are in pen tool mode. Now I'll start creating a new Bezier path by a single click as usual, but this time I'd like to make a perfect right triangle that has a perfect right angle on one side. This is easy to do by holding down the shift key on the keyboard while you move your mouse to the next path location. Right now I'm toggling the shift key on the keyboard on and off to show you how pressing the shift key forces your path to follow a straight line. I'll keep the shift key depressed while I'm creating this path and then close the path just like before. So that's how you can use the shift key to more easily create Bezier paths with straight lines and right angles. Okay, now let's look at further editing existing paths. You can insert new points in any existing path simply by double clicking anywhere along the path. This inserts a brand new point that can be dragged around like any other point on the path. You can also remove an existing point in an existing path. Just double click on any existing point. It will disappear immediately. Remember that if you make any change you don't like, you can undo your change with the Command Z keyboard shortcut, just like any other Mac app. That's undo with Command Z. And that's it for Bezier Path Basics.